Hello everyone, my name is Sona Shibu. Today I am going to present about the topic audio processing in Python. First we are going to know what is voice analysis. Voice analysis refers to the process of analyzing audio recordings of human speech or voice signals to extract meaningful insights. This analysis can involve different tasks such as identifying speaker, recognizing speech patterns, detecting mo uh, emotions or even identifying unique features of a voice for forensic or diagnostic purpose. So key ap applications of voice analysis. Uh, first one is speech recognition, converting spoken language into text. And speaker, second one is speaker identification, identifying or verifying an individual based on their voice characteristics. Emotion detection. Analyzing speech to detect emotion states. Example, stress, happiness. Fourth one is forensic analysis. Using law enforcement to match a suspect's voice to uh, recordings. Voice biometrics. Fifth one is voice biometric. Security system that authenticate user based on their voice prints. Next, let's look how voice analysis work. Voice analysis is performed using several techniques used often through audio future extraction where various characteristics of the voice signals are quantified for example pitch frequency of the sound wave important in emotion recognition second formants resonant and frequencies that help distinguish vowels in speech mel frequency septal coefficients mfccs features used in speech and speaker recognition and last one is spectrogram visual representation of frequency over time now i am going to use python for analyzing voice samples first, first let's look on how to load audio on python using librosa library first we have to import librosa for that make sure you have installed a librosa package to install librosa go to terminal new terminal and type pip install librosa and the package will be installed in your system and mine is already installed so i am going to import librosa import librosa then y comma sr is equal to librosa dot load so y is an array of audio sample that it is the uh, variable that is storing the actual content of the audio and xr means the sample rate uh, number of samples of the audio that are taken per second and librasa.load is the function that loads an audio file into the system then we are going to uh, copy the uh, voice samples path and adding it to the function so copy path and paste it here then we are going to type as sr is equal to 22050 is the sample rate 22050 is the which is a standard sample rate for audio processing especially for speech analysis if you don't uh, specify sample rate librosa will use 22050 by default so now we are going to print out the both the sample rate and the length of the audio file. For that we are going to type print f sample rate sample rate column column In quadratic bracket, see bracket S. The output rate of the console will be two two zero five zero in this case. And audio length we need the audio length so audio length colon length by length y gives you the total number of samples in the audio files. Dividing the total number of samples by the sample rate gives you the total duration of the audio files in seconds. So length y by s.
and 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 we are going to run it run python file it will show the output as the both the sample rate and the length of the audio files Okay, now let's know how to visualize the audio signals. For that, we are importing the PyPlot module from the Matplot lib library and give it as alias plt. So, import matplot lib dot pyplot as plt. Then we are specifying the width and height of the figure in inches so width is 10 centimeter we are giving width as 10 inches and height as 4 inches for that p l t dot figure figure size bracket figure size is equal to is equal to bracket 10 comma bracket 10 comma 4 so this ensure the plot has a rectangular layout making it easier to visualize the waveform then we are going uh, using the wave show function from the librosa to display uh, the visualize the audio waveform so for that librosa dot librosa Librosa dot display dot wave show bracket y comma sr is equal to sr it's the as well as the sample rate and then we are giving titles of plot to waveform so for that uh, we are um, giving titles uh, to the uh, visualization of audio signals so plt dot title and giving the title waveform waveform then uh, we are displaying the plot in the output windows to display the plot we are using the show function so plt dot show show right then we are going to run the uh, command and and it will be appear as this this is the waveform and it is depending the uh, time and the frequency in the waveform to display the spectrogram of audio signals uh, we are going to import numpy numpy as np so numpy is used for numerical computation in python as so numpy as np then we are going to convert the amplitude values into a logarithm scale so d is equal to librosa librosa dot amplitude to db uh, 
Liprosa amplitude db converts the amplitude values in a logarithmic scale like decibel units then np dot abs calculate the magnitude absolute value of the sdft and sdft is the short time for your transform and then librosa dot sdft bracket y this computes the short time for air transform of the audio signal y the stft convert the time domain audio signals into frequency domain by analyzing small time frames of the signals then ref is equal to nb dot max scales the values relative to the maximum amplitude in the signal so ref is equal to np dot max then we are going to create a new figure for the spectrogram plot with a specified size so same as the before we are giving the figure size 10 inches and 4 inches so plot dot figure fix size is equal to 10 Librosa dot display spec shows visualizes the spectrogram. So it visualizes the spectrogram, and D is the spectrogram data in decibel, and SR is equal to SR, the sample rate of the audio signal used to correctly label the x axis, and x axis. To represent time in seconds x axis represent the time in second and y axis and the y axis is the log is equal to log to represent frequency on a logarithmic scale then we have we need to add a color bar to the plot providing a reference for the db values for that we are adding plt dot color bar is equal to is equal to bracket format is equal to code percentage plus 2 dot 0 2 dot 0 f of db db column let's format the color bar label to show decibel values with a sign then we are going to add title to the plot as we are giving title as spectrogram spectrogram and we are giving plot show to display the spectrogram generator into the windows so we are running the command run it is the way for we created earlier and There is error. Let's check what's there. 
uh, here it is zero i added o so it is zero okay then again we can run it okay it is showing the waveform this is the spectrogram this is called generate a spectrogram law which visually represent the frequency content of the audio signal over time x-axis represent time in second and y-axis is the frequency in logarithm scale. So now we are going to generate the MEL frequency sectoral coefficient of the audio signals. So uh, MLCCs are commonly used to feature in audio and speech processing tasks. Uh, such as speech recognition, speaker identification, emotion detection, music classification. So for that we are using MFCCs. We are typing MFCCs is equal to Librosa dot future. So it's complete the mel frequency spectral coefficiency of the audio signals. So future dot mfcc bracket y is equal to y sr is equal to sr sr is the sample right and n underscore mfcc is equal to 13 this specifies the number of mfcc's to calculate so MFCs are often used in speech and audio processing with the 30 coefficients being a common choices in many applications. So, in MFCC 13, then we are going to create a figure for the plot with a size of 10 inches wide and 4 inches tall. Same as we done in the previous command. So, for that we are typing plt dot figure fix size 10 comma 4 then we want to type librosa dot display dot spec show Display dot spec show bracket NFCC NFC MFCC is the matrix of mel frequency spectral coefficients. Row represents the MFCC in this one to thirty in this case. Kona represents the time frames. So SR is the sample rate and x axis the labels the x axis in terms of time so x axis is equal to time it's represent the time time then So we are going to add a color plot to the plot. The color intensity represents the magnitude of the coefficient. So we are adding a color bar to the plot. PLT dot color bar. The color intensity represents the magnitude of the coefficients. Then we are going to add title to the plot. So before that, same step we done previously. PLT dot title and we are giving us MFCC as the title. Then we are going to display the MFCC plot. So plt dot show. Then we are going to run the command. So it will show in the waveform first, then the spectrogram, then now it is showing the MFCC. 
and the x axis represent the time frame in the audio signal y axis represent the ml frequency spectral coefficient is 1 to 30 and the color intensity represent the magnitude of each mfcc at a specific time now we are going to compute the pitch and the magnitude of the audio signals for that we are going to type pitch magnitude is equal to librosa dot librosa dot pip track pip track bracket y is equal to y and sr is equal to sr and we are initializing an empty list to store the pitch value at each time frame so pitches underscore values is equal to we are giving a empty set and we are iterates over all the time frames in the spectrogram for that we are giving 40 in range pitches pitches dot shape dot shape square bracket one then colon and term um, index is equal to magnitude square bracket colon comma t so if i it, it defines the index of the frequency bin with the maximum magnitude at the time frame t so comma t then we are using arc max so it uh, returns the index of the highest value in this array then we are going to type pitch is equal to pitches index t it retrieves the pitch value at the frequency bin with the maximum magnitude for time frame t now we are going to apply a threshold to the magnitude and decide whether to keep the pitch or set it to zero so that pitch value dot append pitch if magnitude in magnitude if magnitude index comma t is greater than zero point six if the magnitude of the strongest speech is exceeds 0 0.1 it is checking that if the magnitude of the strongest pitch exceeds 0 0.1 uh, if true then it will append the pitch value and if it is false it will append the zero indicating no pitch detected at this frame so no pitch is indicated at this frame and added this and then we are going to plot the uh, plot the detector pitch values over time so that we are typing plt dot pl plot pitch values here x-axis represent the time frames and the y-axis represent the pitch in hertz so pitch values then we are going to labels the x axis as time frame so for that we are typing plt dot 
X uh, X label co bracket time frame time frame then we are going to label the y axis as pitch heads for that we are typing plt y label pitch heads pitch heads then we are going to set the title of the plot and giving it as pitch tracking so we are going to in the do the same step we done earlier so plt title pitch tracking and we are going to display the pitch tracking plot so plt dot show then we are running the command it is showing this waveform then the spectrogram and then mfcc then this is the pitch tracking the plot shows the detected pitch in hertz over time the x axis represent the time frame and y axis represent the pitch in hertz and the gap the gap or flatness at the zero hertz indicate time where no significant pitch was detected due to low magnitude mm, here it is in, in with the pitch was no signal pitch was detected there now we get familiar with the reblosa for voice analysis and we learned how to learn audio and extract features and visualize it thank you